In this series, I'm starting over as a broke level 1 player with the goal of becoming a GTA Online veteran. But in order to do so, I'll have to complete every objective on this list while having a limit of 2 hours a day to play. So with that being said, welcome to another episode of Rags to Riches 2 hour edition. Today is an exciting episode because I'm going to be making one of the best purchases we could make in GTA Online as a solo player, and it's all thanks to having completed the Kyle Prico heist for the first time in the last episode. So currently, we are sitting at 2.67 million dollars, which is incredible. We're only a few episodes in and we're already this far along in the game. But today we're going to make another great purchase that will propel us forward to completing everything on that GTA Online Veterans checklist. So right away, I'm on the wrong site. What we need to go to is over here to Dynasty Executive. And of course, the business we are going to get is the agency. Now, there's quite a few different agencies that we can purchase but there's the location doesn't really matter so i'm going to go for the cheapest one two million dollars now i'm not going to be fancy don't need wallpaper don't need highlight eventually i would like to get the armory but it is 720 grand so i can't afford it accommodation i will get so that i could session warp over there and then vehicle workshop i would like to get but i won't get right now or i can't get right now but it does allow us to get imani tech vehicles in the future so 2.3 million for the agency this is probably going to end up being one of our best if not our best investment in the entire series so we got the agency and we're standing right in front of it this is our new building it is so exciting but as always we only have two hours today to make the most amount of money possible and to do whatever we need to do so with that being said we're going to get two hours on the clock there you go and we're now going to head into our newly purchased business. So here I am in the new agency office and there are tons of reasons why I bought the business. But the main one is because there are four great ways to make money. We have security contracts, which are like simple contact jobs. They pay out 30 to 60K. We have payphone hits that pay out $45,000 and only have a 10 minute cooldown, which is crazy. We have the wall safe that makes us money passively. And we have the Dr. Dre contract that pays out one million dollars for an hour and a half of work so tons of stuff that we could do with this business and then there's other things that are really helpful on top of that so the first thing is going to be up here on the top floor we could once again get snacks fully re-up like we can in the kasaka submarine which is perfect that is where the armory would be once we get it that allows us to get mark ii weapons there's also a snack bowl here on the bottom floor and probably the best additional feature of the business is that we can get a free agency super valido helicopter so now whenever we go or whenever we're leaving the agency we could get our agency helicopter it is free and it's fairly good in game so those are great amenities of the business but of course making money is the main reason why i got it and today i'm going to try to do at least one of everything of all four ways to make money i mean the passive money will make itself but we're going to try to do or i'm going to do a security contract hopefully we'll be able to do enough security contracts to then unlock payphone hits and then i'm also going to start up the first couple missions of the dr dre contract so we're going to have to listen to franklin talk for a little bit here but we're going to get into a security contract right away so when we get in here you can see that there are three different contracts we could choose from liquidized assets and asset protection are two of the worst so i am going to go for vehicle recovery but as you can see the payouts do vary a little bit depending on the level of difficulty so for each of these contracts they also have a level of difficulty and it ranges from professional to specialist and specialist plus with the highest difficulty paying out the most which is usually sixty thousand dollars or just over 60k so as you can see asset protection because it is specialist it is fifty two thousand five hundred but for the two professionals it's only 32,000. But as I said, I don't want to do the bottom two, so I'm going to go for vehicle recovery and let's get into our first security contract. Okay, so I just got the location of where we have to go and it is the Humane Labs. This version of vehicle recovery is actually a horrible one to get. So instead, I'm going to load into a new invite only session and I'm actually going to load back in and just get a fresh new batch of security contracts. Well, I tried it again and we got the exact same mission. So I'm just going to complete it this time. It should, it will take probably 10 minutes, but that's okay. Okay, so we're now at the Humane Laboratories, and I'm going to have to go into the Research Lab. So for the vehicle recovery missions, all you have to do is go to a certain location, fend off a bunch of security, take a vehicle, and bring it back to the agency. The only reason why this version or this type of the vehicle recovery mission is a tough one 
is because the vehicle that we are taking back is extremely slow. We have to take one of those essentially post-op vans. Okay, I've cleared out everybody. Now I'm going to take the van and drive off. And of course, we're going to be pursued heavily this entire time. Probably my best bet is to try to take out the drivers here. But I only really have pistols, so this is not going to go that well. I think I might have actually lost them. Wow, that went way better than I thought. I spoke too soon. Okay, let's see if I could use my sharp shooting skills here. Ooh, yikes, bud. That's tough on you, isn't it? Like, no road etiquette whatsoever. Tell me why don't like Mondays. Tell me why don't like Mondays. Are you kidding me, man? And there you go. There is our first security contract done. Now, these do have a five minute cooldown, so I'd love to go back to back to back, but we'll have to wait a little bit. And the reason why I'm going to make sure to do at least two more in today's video is because once we complete three security contracts, we then unlock payphone hits, which are simple assassination missions that pay out $45,000 each time. So that's going to be one of the goals today, complete at least three security contracts. But now that we've completed our first security contract, we can actually start up the VIP contract, which is the Dr. Dre contract. Now, we do have to wait a little bit for Franklin to call us, but that will become available very soon. And there's actually two setup missions that we have to do, or two intro missions that we have to do, before we could start the actual contract itself. So I'm gonna do those in today's video too. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna wait for Franklin to call so that we can start up that mission and then we could get back into another security contract after that. There you go, he just called me. And now we're gonna get a yellow F on the map. That is for the first of the intro missions to the Dr. Dre contract. So let's head over there now. Now these two intro missions only have to be done for the first ever time that we do the heist. Every time after that, we only have to do the different leaks and whatnot, which you'll understand more once we actually get into the contract itself. So we've now arrived here at the golf club. I'm going to head over here and start up the mission. These two intro missions are really easy. They're nothing to sweat. So I'm, for the most part, just going to skip through most of it. And there is the music legend himself, Dr. Dre. All right, the cutscene is finally over. And now all we have to do is chase down golfer B and golfer A intimidate them both by bumping into their cart. So you can see there, that was quite a bit of intimidation just from hitting them once. We just got to hit them a few times and that's going to be essentially the mission. Just how, how did I end up in this situation here? All right, all we need is one more good hit and that should do it. There you go. Now we just got to tail him to a location and we're essentially just going to beat him up and that'll be the end of the mission. All right, time to practice my swing on this guy. Ooh, I thought I was going to go for the ribs. That's okay. That's yeah that's better good yeah i mean he he may be dead after that and that is the first mission done for the dr dre contract now like i said this is just an intro mission we only have to do this once so that is it now we could get back into another security contract and then we'll do intro mission number two and we just got fifty thousand dollars as a first time bonus i completely forgot that that's what we got but that's amazing that means we're gonna get another 50k for completing the second intro mission and if i remember correctly i think we get 100k for completing the finale of the drake contract and another couple hundred thousand for completing the contract itself so we can make a lot of money in the next couple episodes just through the agency itself so this time we have vehicle recovery liquidized assets and gang termination i'm just gonna go for vehicle recovery because it is a specialist plus which means we're gonna make 60 grand this time instead of 30 to 40. Okay, so we now have to head over to Davis and I believe this is one of the locations where it's essentially an auto shop. So it's way easier, not too difficult and we're gonna get an actually or an actual fast car this time. All right, I'm inside. I'm now gonna take cover behind this crate here and take out all of the enemies. All right, we have the stolen car here. It is the Comet. What a beautiful car. And now to get out, I'm gonna have to hit the warehouse door button here. But as soon as I hit it, there will be enemies swarming us everywhere. Yep, you can see there. So I'm actually going to take them out first and then I'm going to head into the car because if I don't, I'm just going to be wasted really easily. And here we are back at the agency. That is the mission done. 
very, very easy. And now, once again, I'm going to wait for Franklin to call so we could start up the second intro mission for the Drake contract. In the meantime, though, I'm going to pick up some new weapons. We're going to go for the machine pistol here. It's not the best, but it's not too bad. I just want an automatic pistol. And then I'm also going to go for, we'll pick up a sniper as well. We will go for the heavy sniper. Yeah, we'll do heavy sniper. It's actually really going to come in handy during the Drake contract. I'll show you when we get to it in the next episode, but we'll buy the rounds later. And then the final one I'm going to get is the combat MG, which is actually a great weapon as well. The other weapons I want to get, but I can't currently is the assault shotgun. We need to be level 37. I'd also love to get the AP pistol, which is over here. The minigun is definitely a must buy. The RPG, of course, is a very popular one to get. And then eventually I'm going to get stuff like the ad up and atomizer, but that stuff's not here right now. Okay, it's taking too long for Franklin to call, so I'm just going to go do another security contract so that we could at least unlock the payphone hits in the meantime, and then he could call us whenever he so chooses. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is rescue operation. This one's probably the easiest out of all of them, and we're really going to want to use our helicopter here. So I'm going to get that first and then head over to the location they give me. Okay, so we're here at La Puerta and what we have to do for this mission is find a client, take out the enemies trying to take the client or take them out, and then bring the client back to the agency safely. So I'm actually just going to fly and park the helicopter right down here. We should be right in the area where the client is, and then we could find them, bring them back to the helicopter and fly away. Okay, I finally found the client and they're surrounded by enemies okay they got in the helicopter and now we could fly back to the agency okay luckily the helicopter did not blow up but we've delivered them back to the safe house and that is the mission over okay we still don't have a tech so i'm just going to do another security contract we have a specialist plus vehicle recovery again so i'm going to do that easy money and and there we are brought the delivery van back to the agency and that is a mission done that's another sixty two thousand five hundred dollars i believe and now I'm just going to wait outside and hopefully get the text from Franklin. It's been forever. So far, we've unlocked the payphone hits and the second mission for the Dr. Drake contract, but we have yet to get the call. So a little frustrating, but hopefully it comes very soon. So I finally got the call for the second setup mission for the Drake contract. So that is what we are doing now. For some reason, it only worked when I loaded into a public lobby. So it has been some time but hopefully we could get the call for the payphone hit soon as well. Okay, we could now get into the VIP contract, and as you can see, the second mission here, data recovery, we've got to sneak into the FIB building. Okay, I've just landed on the roof of the FIB building, and now we're going to have to... Oh, <laughs> and I lost the helicopter, so that's actually going to be an issue later on in the mission, but it is what it is. Now we're going to break into the building itself. All right, here we go. There's going to be security everywhere. We will get into a bit of a firefight, but similar to the first mission, for the most part, it's very straightforward. So I'm, I'm going to skip through most of it. So the first thing we have to do is find the communications room, which is right over here. And we're going to have to blow it open. And I just, wow, I, I suck at this game sometimes. That's brutal. Okay, now we could get inside and install the software onto the computer. Okay, the installation is complete. Now we have to steal the hard drive. And now we just have to make our great escape. So usually at this point, I'd go up to the roof and get into the helicopter and take off. But because I don't have that option anymore, I'm just going to jump off. And I have no parachute, but that's okay. Okay, so I did have a parachute the first time. I just didn't even realize it. That's a bit embarrassing. All right, I finally got my Duke of Death. Now I got to go pick up the hard drive and get back to the agency. And that is the mission done. Now in the next episode, I'll be able to do the entire Dr. Drake contract as you normally would. We'll have the three leaks, which are each essentially mini heists, two setups, plus a finale. And then I'll have the two finale missions to then earn $1 million for the Dr. Drake contract. Now, as a first time player or for the first time bonuses, I will get most likely 1.3, 1.4 million out of the entire contract itself, but the base contract itself pays out 1 million. So we just got another call from Franklin. And as you can see there, we have unlocked payphone hits, which is perfect. We're going to end off the episode on one of them. And the payphone hits will always show up as a blue payphone on your mini map or on your map. So we're going to start this one up from here on out. 
after this one, we could just call it Franklin once the cooldown is over and we could then request the payphone hit. But for the first one, you have to wait for him to call you. So there's going to be a little cutscene. We'll cut through it and then we'll get into our first payphone hit. So the way the payphone hits work is you have one or multiple targets to take out. And if you take them out successfully, you will get $15,000. But if you also take them out while completing an assassination bonus, you will get an additional 30k. So in my case, for this one, we have to go and collect golfing equipment and use a bomb to take them out. So if we complete that, we will get a total of 45k. Okay, so I'm now here at the golf course. I'm going to pick up the remote bomb here. And then I'm going to hop into a golf cart and drive over to the sixth hole. So all I have to do for this one is walk up to the flag. I'm going to plant the remote bomb in the actual hole itself. And then I'm just going to move back here I, they're running which makes me sus but that's okay and now i'm gonna wait for the target to get close to the hole and then i could detonate the bomb okay so the target is right next to the hole boom take him out and now we just gotta leave the area and there you go forty-five thousand dollars. now like i said earlier in the video there is a 10 minutes cooldown so we could do this quite often and i likely will going forward since we only have two hours a day to play but that is a great way to make money. So today we completed quite a bit. We bought the agency, which is checking off another thing on our checklist. We then did three or four security contracts, unlocked payphone hits, did our first payphone hit, did the two intro missions for the Dr. Dre contract. And now in the next episode, we could do the Dr. Dre contract in its entirety, making us probably 1.4, 1.5 million so we are set up really well here for the future but with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please drop a like if you're new subscribe i will see you in the next one peace